um, a bit of an overview of what Parliament is all about. We're going to be focusing on the debate in the House of Commons, but you need to know how that fits into the whole big Parliament picture. Now, I showed you this slide yesterday, and it showed a picture of the House of Commons and the House of Lords. Can you remember who's missing from the picture here? Who was missing? The Queen. It is the Queen. And why do we have the Queen? Um, she has to do something very special at the end of all the debating process. Does anybody remember what that was? Um, is it to write down the She actually signs her signature, giving it official um, agreement. And uh, there you can see her at the state opening of Parliament with her husband, Prince Philip. And um, she's reading out new laws that might be coming up. And then when a new law is actually passed by Parliament, it's her signature, Elizabeth, <coughs> that uh, makes it all official. It's a royal assent at the top, which just means royal agreement. Beautiful big decorated chamber for the House of Lords. Currently, the House of Lords is bigger than the House of Commons. So I'm going to pretend that this side of the room is the House of Lords. Okay. So that's the House of Lords. Moving on to the other chamber, the other place. Who is this lady? Now, I do have multiple choice on this. I've got the Queen, Claire Balding, Theresa May, or Sharon Osbourne. <laughs> Who are we got? Are you confident about that? Yes? OK. Who agrees that it's Theresa May? All right. Very good. Can anyone tell me how the people in this chamber are selected? How do we choose the people that work in there? Yes. Yeah. They do get voted in. They get elected. So, do you know who the local MP is? I've got a picture there to help you. Who is it? Um, Robin Walker. Very good. Robin Walker. He is the MP that represents everybody that lives in Worcester. So, how old do you have to be to vote? How old do you have to be to vote? On the very end of that. That's exactly right. It is 18 or above. And I'm just going to ask, who over on this side is playing the Prime Minister? Is there anybody over here? They're over there. Okay. Is there anybody over this side that would like to, for my demonstration, be the Prime Minister? There we go. And we're going to have um, an education secretary. You're in charge of all the teachers. They'll be having a word with you later. Okay. So uh, you are going to be in charge of the paperwork. Because in Parliament, there are um, lots of ideas for new laws, and they're called bills. Okay, and there we have one, a bill. So I'm going to give you the official paperwork. And we're going to come over here, and we're going to find out what it is that the Prime Minister has come up with for an idea for a new law. So, Prime Minister, could you tell us what the idea for the new law is? There is one TED Day every week. Everyone for having TED Day say aye. Aye! Everyone against having TED Day say no. <laughs> <laughs> we seem to have reached agreement. Does that make it a new law, then? Yes. Yeah. Why not? It hasn't been signed by the Queen. We need a Queen. We need a Queen. Yeah. 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 Let's get you in the middle here. There we go. Turn around. Face your, face your, um, your people. There we go. Lovely. So we need your signature on the bottom of the paperwork, please. Lovely. So should we give our volunteers here a round of applause? Fun. Well done, everybody. Thank you so much. Have a round of applause. And because it's an opposition motion, I believe my honourable friends to the left uh, are in favour of this, uh, against this motion. Yes. Yeah. We will start with the leader of the opposition. So the right honourable leader of the opposition, please. Also, um, 
it, in some cases, it can cause vi violence after playing for long periods of time towards um, members of the public. Thank you. I now call on the Prime Minister, Madison Price. This House strongly believes that there shouldn't be a time limit on phone and tablet use. P doctors doctors are still trying to see if if people are still going on their games if it will lead to um, like eye strain or a brain cancer i now call on the right honorable christopher orm please thank you mr speaker um i think there shouldn't be a time limit mostly because um if you have like a really stressful day at school and you come back then you could just lie down and you could listen to some and children could learn inappropriate language um, and 62% of children at the moment age 5 to 15 own one so there's and 11% of children age 3 to 4 own one Great, and I would encourage you to do so please stand up to let me know that you would like to speak okay the honourable member on the front bench there Thank you, Sir Speaker. I think we shouldn't have time limit because, um, say if you went to the park, then you can't like, you can't text your friends to tell them you're there. And sometimes if you say the words like 24/7, uh, one day in class you might accidentally say it without realising it. Thank you. And the honourable lady. Um, even though like young children. Um, yeah. 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 Uh, order, order in the house. Uh, the honourable gentleman in the middle there. I think you should have time li limits on games and then have um, your phone like for calling people at any time you want. They are like the parents are given the children an iPad or something to keep them busy, like for them not to be under their feet. But um. You could give them a book or a colouring book or something. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Linking back to that idea that um, a colouring book or a reading book gets boring after a while. Uh, okay, let's hear from the uh, honourable lady second from the end of the front row. I recommend it. They know not to say it in the future or. or to teach any of the children that word, or those words actually. So, like, <coughs> these bad swear words. If you are in favour, so you are for the motion that there should be a time limit, you must come in through this door. If you are against the motion, you must come in through this door and you take a seat on the right side. You'll be counted as you come in and the results will then be used and passed on to our pollsters one in five a day to inform you. The rest of the debate is uh, 19, the votes against are 9, and so the ayes have it, the ayes have it, the motion is passed. Thank you very much. Lots of people's signatures to, um, to join in what you're trying to do, and there's two different ways of petitioning. You can go online and do e-petitioning, and this one's on there at the moment. Make it law that all cyclists have to wear helmets. And at the moment, it's got 132 signatures. And as it gets more signatures, the little green line along the bottom here will go along. Okay. And what a petition is doing is it's... Oh, there we go. It's a clear request to the government and parliament asking for action. The other type of petition is a paper petition where you can go around with a clipboard and you can get people to sign up and say they support what you're trying to do. Uh, an, an issue is only two Ooh, days a week. Ten days. One day a week. Whatever we have, it's a good thing. If you're looking at a screen too long, um, your eyes can get damaged and even though if you affect the light, like like lock the light out, um, your eyes are still won't be used to the proper. Yes. 
the internet says that um, you'll die um, earlier if you look at the screen. Is it true? And like, and if it is true, how? I don't think any of us can firmly say that if we are looking at screens, we're going to die because that's a bit very, very advanced, isn't it? Um, you have been part of a select committee today. All right, you've been part of an opportunity to debate to listen to the expertise and the experts in their field and have a discussion with other people about what you believe. I'm, I'm here with Lola and Alice and they will be telling me whether they have voted for or against limited mobile phone uses. So Alice, what did you put? I voted yes because they're stopping us from doing activities where we could be learning. It shouldn't, there shouldn't be any time limit at all because, well, there's no point. If they're going to have a time limit, why were these things invented for us? Hello, I'm Charlotte here from PNTV News and I'm here with Lily, who's going to tell me a bit about her opinion on the debate today. So what do you think, Lily? Well, I think we shouldn't have a time limit. So, have you already made your minds up? Um, yes, I think there shouldn't be um, a time limit as, like, devices are educational and entertaining. So good morning everybody, it's been a pleasure to uh, come around, I, I, I went to all three sessions and I'm really really impressed by how you all threw yourself into it, it was exactly like being in Parliament, because I've got some very rowdy colleagues as well, and some of you are in fine voice this morning. So do you want to know the result? I'll yeah. give you the result yeah. so, uh, first of all and then we'll talk about what goes on. So, so the, the yeses, which we'd say the eyes in, in part, so the yeses, so that's all those in favour of it. That was 92, and that was 38 children and 54 public, and so that was 92, and the no's was 86, 50 children and 36, so, so we'd say the yeses have it, the eyes have it. But it's the kind of thing that could happen, because somebody could come up and make this suggestion, and they could make it to MPs, or it could be in a manifesto, uh, what, what we uh, put in front of people before uh, they make votes um, for the general election. So these kind of things could happen. And like many examples, this was very, very close. It's not always as easy. Sometimes you get persuaded one way, and sometimes you get persuaded another, and then sometimes you don't know what to do. And if you didn't know what to do, you could have had a, a third choice here, and that was abstain. That was actually not vote at all and leave it to other people to decide. But it's really good that you all actually did make a decision here. So, so well done on what you've done today. Have you all enjoyed it? Yes! Yeah. Excellent. Good. Well, I'll, I'll open up so you can ask me some questions in a minute about what I do as an MP. But what I can say is everything that I saw today is very much like what I do. So I spend some of the time in the chamber where you were, there was a government side and there was an opposition side and you all uh, make these arguments. And I was very impressed there where I heard all the, um, all, all the uh, hear, hears. Many of you said that. Who said hear, hear today? Committees happen every single week in Parliament. So as well as being in the chamber in different rooms doing committees. And then I saw the other session where people were talking about petitions and uh, surveys and things like that. Lots of really good ideas on petitions as well, and that was fantastic. And working out where to send petitions to, whether it should be MPs or the council and so on. So it was a really great example of seeing every kind of aspect of parliament and policy making. So I'm really glad you enjoyed it today. Um, if you win the vote and it goes to the Queen's side, what if she doesn't agree with it? You know, she does have the right not to agree with it. But the we've got a very different... Um, system of government than we had a long time ago. Back in like Henry VIII's time and so on, he used to be able to make up laws, not really have to go to Parliament too much, and he would say, I want to do this, I want to do that. 
this day and age, the Queen is, is to some degree the servant of us, the British people. My favourite part about being an MP is actually not the stuff in Parliament and the Chamber, but it's actually getting around the constituency. So my constituency goes all the way up from Droitwick, Evesham, Broadway, just to the east of, of, of Worcester. And I love going around schools and businesses. This morning I've been to two schools and I've met a church. And now I'm seeing you guys. And then this afternoon I've got a surgery where I'm meeting members of the public who are going to come to me and tell me how they think laws and things should change in exactly the same way uh, as, as you've done today. I think I'm running out of time here, aren't I? So, uh, I'm going to have to say it's really lovely that there are lots more questions, but I think we are slightly running out of time. Yeah. Yeah.